beautiful gamer and welcome back to some more Firewatch. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but you know. Let's get into the game. Um, so last episode we investigated a wire and now we are going to go investigate what this little chain of smoke is. Um, so yeah. We also just left the burnt forest region over there, which is sad. So let's press on. Rope hook. Oh yeah. Nothing more than I love than climbing down hills. Alright. Physical exercise. So much fun. of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I love this game. I've heard I had a, uh, I don't know, I heard a couple of my friends, they said they didn't like the ending. I don't know what the ending is. But, eh, who cares. I like the music. Physical exercise. Let's go. Digital exercise. I'm going to shut up for a little bit and listen to the music. Let's see, I, apparently I can't clear that. I assume we need an axe or something like that to clear that. Oh well, we're fine. I like look like there's some burn or something. Oh well, let's go. I need your feet from Forks Fire Lookout. To Forks Fire Lookout. Really? Am I that close to my tower? We are close to my tower. Why you know? Alright, which way Jones Lake? This way Jones Lake. There is Cache Box 306 right there. See him with Rappel down right there. I hit three on nine. Perfect. So let's get going. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. Devastating, especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah, I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Have fun with us. Oh, okay. All right. Um, real quick. Figured I would go on refresh the clip. 
So let's go on and get down the steep hill. Whee! We fell, we fell, we fell, we fell, we fell. Fire watch today. Oh, I don't mind playing this game all day instead. So y'all might care, but not personally. I'm okay with it. It's a pretty fun game. Really pretty too. You know something completely random, and I never really want to watch this guy, a specific YouTuber. Not always. Like I never get like, you know how sometimes you want to watch like YouTube and everything like that. Usually I watch Vessis a lot. Um, every once in a while I watch Azuras or Thumbnia, Cinnamon Toast Kins. Okay, I just I watched one of his videos a couple days ago. Um, usually my girlfriend, my she she likes Vanoss and she likes Markiplier a lot. But for some reason, I wouldn't mind watching Markiplier right now, and that is completely random and out of the blue. Markiplier is not, I mean, I don't hate him, I enjoy his videos, don't get me wrong. But he's just, he's not really the first person that clicks into my mind that I want to watch. And for some reason, I feel like watching him right now. Completely random thing. So Markiplier, if you're watching this video, I feel like watching you right now. <laughs> it's, it's the most random thing I could probably ever say in the middle of one of my videos. <laughs> but I don't care, because I am professional. <laughs> um... No oh, gosh, you have to interrupt me talking to my YouTubers. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move though. Oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Same difference, really. Sometimes. I'm going to copy the information real quick. Missing person. Uh, missing person, Mitch Michaels, age 31, 6'2", 165 pounds, short brown, identifying features, distinctive facial hair. Lovely. He's my kind of man. General info, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981, by Force, by Force Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info, 1972 Ford F-250, blue and white, Montana license, 28-07326. If you have seen slash contacted them or have more info, please contact Shoshu National Force dispatch at 307 555 6241. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> is, is that Teddy Roosevelt? I think it is. What's up with all the pine cones? Oh, 
Let's look at what we did here. Lovely. We got trails in that one. We got trails. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. This is where I get to fight the turtle. Turtle! Turtle, I want to hold a turtle. I'll never see the turtle. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is it some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Made it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Where am I? At? Oh, mercy. I'm way off. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Real quick. Oh, there we go. I wanted to refresh the recording real quick. I'm saying something like. Girls love a skinny dipping. I bet they're nearby. I found one of their empties. I think we're on the right track. Roger that. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. You don't really specify what it is. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? It seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Well, I found some dangerous hunk. What on earth are you? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at the camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Damn it. 
tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's not this rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags of payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Dear Psycho, I hope you're blanking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped, uh, creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably so, you're probably a mental blank axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Well, they would call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Well, then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. Day three. Ugh, my eyeball hurts. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh, I need to drink. Um, no, my drink's empty. No, this is terrible. Fine boards downstairs, the patron the oh goodness. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, uh, bless me. I had a sneeze. I <laughs> quickly uh, stopped recording. The sneeze. Hey, uh, Henry. Yeah. Um what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. From my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like, the jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Uh, 
Yes, we have to. A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yes. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. It's fine. Steely, cold hard stare. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. It might honestly say drawing at some point. What's up? Ah. We have a couple more. Well, there's another. I need one more. Or is it that? Run around, 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 around. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh huh. But dum 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 dum. Excuse me. That window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you? Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. Jeez. We went from three to nine. Three times that sucker by three. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Chelsea? St is it Chelsea? St no, Chelsea Stanton. Um, Chelsea's the name of my sister, and my last name's McLean, so there's a little bit of like, uh, uh, Hey, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Real quick, I gotta see this real quick. I gotta check something. 
Well, I tried this. No. Okay. <laughs> you know, I tried to look up the names of the girls, but I didn't want any spoilers, so... I don't know if it was the K anything. Do what she wants. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiots. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Well, whenever it says to stop doing this, we'll finally end the episode. <laughs> but until then. Still got no hat. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? The perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. How lovely. Well, we're going to go into the game so we can kick up here next episode. Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, it's Firewatch. Uh, yeah, so we will continue this next week. Probably, maybe not next week, just because we didn't do either one in Tropical 5. We may just focus on them instead. Um, so I don't know if we'll have any Firewatch next week or not, or this upcoming week, I should say, but we might. I don't really know. Uh, yeah. So, I want to thank you for joining me. Much love. I'm the Beautiful Gamer. Until next time.